All right, I think it's finally time. It's finally time we talk about the Sasori, one of the most conflicting Bala songs I have ever had on this channel, I've ever had to talk about, even more than the Haze Attack Jigsaw, not because I took so long to figure it out, which I did, but because not only does the Sasori represent so much for me in terms of the changing of the guard, in terms of machine-wise stuff, but it also was a Bala song that my opinions have changed on so, so, so much. So let's talk about the wild month that I've had with the Sasori and what I think about it. I want to start off the video by saying that I think that this is a phenomenal Bala song and that Machine Wise is doing good things with their new lineup. I'm not here to trash on their new lineup. I'm not here to say that it sucks. And I think the Sasori is genuinely a good Bala song. I don't want that to get lost in the talking that I'm going to do in this video about what I don't like about the Sasori, because ultimately I still find the Sasori to be an above average Bala song. So it's just going to be a bit complicated with me kind of complaining about this or saying this about that. I still think this is above average. I still think it's fantastic. I still think Machine Wise is killing it. I just don't think, spoilers, that this is going to overtake the Prisma Pro for me personally. But again, I don't believe that the Prisma Pro is a superior product. So I want to make that clear before we go forward. The Sasori was a Bala song that I started off extremely, extremely positive on. It flipped so good the week that I was at Blade Show, or the weekend that I was at Blade Show, until the next day after I bought it, I sat down. See, when you sit down and you flip a Bala song, you're usually resting your elbow or your elbow isn't able to move as much. When I stand up and I flip, my elbow can go wherever it wants. You might notice specifically that when I'm doing tricks that go underhand, my elbow kicks out a little bit. You can see it moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's helping my wrist generate momentum for the Bala song so that I can do the tricks that I want. Unfortunately, when you sit down, it becomes a completely different experience. My elbow is now stuck here, and I can't move it back and forth like I typically can when I'm flipping when I'm standing up. So I have to change how I flip. I have to generate that momentum from other places. And unfortunately, that's where the Sasori started to show its cracks for me. Because I remember sitting on the ground in a corner helping Ty script out a video, and I was flipping the Sasori, and it kept flying off my fingers when I chaplained it. Because I'm not able to move my arm as much, I'm not able to generate the circular momentum that the Sasori needs to stay in a stable chaplain. And while it's not Vulp level, I certainly don't lose control of this thing as much as I lose control of something like a Vulp, it's still something that was annoying me as I was sitting down. And it's something that other people were telling me, specifically Pyro, was like, hey, I mean, I like it, I just think it needs the heavier weights. So, after an extremely difficult, having an extremely difficult time getting these bottom pivots out, which I'm not going to fault the Bala song for because these are pre-production units, specifically because there was some issue with the Zen pins, which means that the blade is not going to be compatible with the other parts of the Ori platform going forward, which isn't a problem anymore. It literally only affects the units they sold before and during Blade Show. Um, but the pivots are also messed up because of a of a misplaced, like, they messed up like op 2 or something, which means that the holes aren't exactly centered. So my bite handle pivot specifically, I have to unscrew it and literally hammer it against a table to even begin to get it out. Because otherwise, it's just not budging. So I finally did that. I finally got it out, and I put the heavier weights in. And I fully expected it to completely fix all of my problems. It's going to generate more momentum. It's going to be a little more handle bias. I'm not going to have trouble with the, with the, um, oh my gosh, what am I, with the, with the momentum, it's going to be perfect. Not going to have a problem with the chaplains. The momentum will be fine. It'll be great. And I put them in and I flipped it and it just, it just felt weird. Now this is the point where I want to make it clear that this thing is a very, very interesting piece of Balasong engineering. Not so much as exciting to me as something like the Zippy Spacers are, but something that I think a lot of people aren't giving them enough credit for, because 
the balancing act that they had to do to get these adjustable titanium weights in there had to have been a huge undertaking. You see, when you're balancing a normal aluminum ballast song, you generally have two schools of thought. One school says, hey, let's put pivots at the end of the handles to create a denser area with more weight so that it carries more momentum. Or we skip that, avoid some of the momentum and extra density you can gain from this, but we create a bigger piece of aluminum at the end to create a more neutral feeling handle that doesn't really have any hot spot towards the end of the handle. Now, the problem with this is that if you don't add enough weight to the ends, I think the wing is one of the only balisongs I can think of that successfully implements this pivotless design. Um, if you don't add enough to the ends of the handles, you're going to get, oh, actually, no, the Firefly is extremely successful in that situation. But if you don't add enough weight to the ends of the handles, you're going to have issues with momentum. And that's my problem with basically every pivotless design that comes out. The Baikal comes close to fixing it, but there are still issues with it where I find myself wanting more momentum. The Sirius is a huge one where if it had just a tiny bit more momentum, it would be quite literally my perfect flipper. Um, I think the Sirius trainer is fantastic and only gets brought down by its lack of momentum that happens sometimes. Again, when I'm standing up, it's fine, but when I sit down and I'm not able to put as much effort into it, I find that it has a few problems. Um, but the wing is one that very successfully does this. The problem is, not only does MachineWise in this design have to balance those pivots, but they also have to balance this titanium, which means that the ends of these handles are far more heavy than any comparable aluminum balisong would be. And it's probably why the blade of this thing is about the same length as the old blades used to be on the Marin platform, but the handles are so much shorter. You can see, if we line these things up at the pivots, if we take this, we line it up at the pivots, make the pivots kiss, just like that, the blade is very, very, very similar to the old Prisma blade, but the handles aren't. The handles are much shorter, and you can see that we're losing about half of that pivot area. I think that's genuinely because this, not only MachineWise wanted to make a smaller design, but this weight system added so much to the overall process of balancing these handles, which means that if you add the heavier titanium weights, you get an unnatural amount of end weight which doesn't really manifest that well because the blade is also kind of long for these handles. Also not, it, it's such a strange ballast song because it's a more standard, it's a more standard weight, it's a more standard, no, not sorry, it's a more standard length, but it's also flips like it's a long, weird ballast song. I think it's one of MachineWise's most personality-filled aluminum trainers they've ever made. Because flipping the Sasori and then going back to the Prisma Pro, the Prisma Pro feels a lot more standard. Feels a lot more normal. Feels a lot more familiar. Granted, it's more familiar because it's been out for longer, but like, I get the same feeling going from the Sasori to the Prisma as I do, sorry, the Prisma Pro, as I do going from something like the Prisma Pro to the Kraken Trainer. It just feels more standard. So... All of that extremely long-winded area, or long-winded tangent to say, I think they did a really good job on their first attempt balancing this new weight system. Because we've really never seen something like this, where there's that extra bit of more dense, heavier material in the ends of the handles. So considering that that is there, the normal pocketed weight experience is incredibly, incredibly good. Um... And you can actually see while I'm thinking about it, you can kind of see this weird weight distribution example in both the way that the handles are, they're very thin handles. There's this kind of like weird relief that happens like really high up to what you would normally see in a ballast song. You can see the Prisma Pro doesn't even have a relief. If you find a ballast song that does have a relief, it usually happens, I think, lower down the channel. I might just be like completely... No, maybe it happens higher up in the channel. I don't really know. I'm going to move off of this topic before I confuse myself and forget where I wanted to go. Um, it flips incredibly well for their first attempt, 
But I think the weirdness that I've been feeling is just kind of owed to the kinks being worked out with that system. Because I feel like the non-weighted version or the pocketed weighted version without weights entirely this thing barely flips like at all the the handles are very very light so with the pocketed weights it doesn't carry enough momentum when i'm sitting down when i'm standing up it feels okay but there's still some weirdness to it i have trouble with more handle bias tricks like this double thumb rollover into that that I talked about in the last video I did in the Sasori, that feels really weird on this thing, and on the Prisma Pro is something I can do generally with no problem, like pretty easily, because it has that extra handle weight to it. So it's really strange, and then you put in the full weights and it just doesn't feel right. It feels off in a way that I can't really describe. I think, it again, it flips good. I just find myself messing up because of the weird way that the these ends of the handles are carrying momentum. And speaking of carrying momentum, the blade, which was a huge pain point for a lot of people before we flipped this thing, is not really an issue at all. It's very thick, and there is plenty of tip weight in my opinion. I've seen a few people say that there isn't enough tip weight. I find for the overall implementation of this design, there's plenty of tip weight to go around. The thing fans spectacularly, like, this is kind of what I was talking about with the Serif. This thing is the type of ballast song that fans amazing at the cost of your rollovers and your chaplains. So, I think it fans amazingly. I think the tip weight is fine. I just think the end weight not only is weird compared to what we're used to because of this interesting system, but is also just the first generation of this system, and I think it will improve in the future a bit, maybe. I could also just be talking out of my ass. And none of this is real, and we're all in a simulation, and oh my gosh, we're all going to die. But yeah, long-winded tangent for me to say, prefer the Prisma Pro. Why do I prefer the Prisma Pro? First off, I will say, and I will concede, this thing feels way better in the hands than the Prisma Pro ever did. Which is crazy. The tolerances feel better, it sounds way better. And the actual quality of the machining and the finishing is way better. The problem is that the Sasori is a performance balisong in some ways. The, the, sorry, the Sasori's performance in some ways excels, but in other ways falls behind. Whereas the Prisma Pro, I find, even though it's incredibly unique and has a lot of personality, it's made me realize just how of much of an all-rounder the Prisma Pro actually is. The Prisma Pro doesn't really falter at anything. You can flip it, flip it fast, you can flip it slow, you can fan it, you can choker fan it, you can chaplain it, you can zero-G it, you can roll over it. It does everything that you need it to with basically no problems whatsoever. I find giraffes to be especially easy on the Prisma Pro, even though I'm not going to be able to hit one because, oh, there we go. I find giraffes to be incredibly easy on that. It does what I want it to do. It's an all-rounder. The Sasori specifically excels, like I said, at fans and falls behind in chaplains. I find zero Gs to be a little bit unstable. I find sometimes when I throw it in a rollover, it feels like it really wants to get away from me. To be clear, I am using the pocketed weights right now, the lighter ones. I did use the heavier ones for a while, and I found that it almost carried too much momentum, so it still wanted to get away from me because the handles were just going so far. Um, it fans excellently. It choker fans excellently. I love how it fans and choker fans. It feels amazing. It backhand fans amazingly. But the second I go into a rollover, a zero G, it feels like it, get, it wants to get away from me. And especially the giraffe, I struggled quite a bit with the giraffe on this thing. Because it just doesn't want to stick to my hand to do it when I get into the reverse chaplain. Which, yes, you can say it's a skill issue all you want, but that's the reason I like the Prisma Pro better. Is I don't feel like I'm making any sacrifices with the Prisma Pro. All of the performance is there that I would want to do with basically any trick. Whereas with the Sasori, it's more of a specialized flipping experience. And that's ultimately it. That's the reason. It's not because I think the Sasori flips bad. I think it flips really, really well. It's just that when I want performance with personality, 
I get the Prisma Pro. That's why I love it so much. It has the performance and it has the personality. The Sasori definitely feels all personality. A little bit of performance, but the performance falls a little bit behind. Um, but this is really where I'm so excited for Zippy to make his mods because not only will he give us more customization beyond just pocketed and unpocketed weights, but hopefully if he does what I'm assuming he's going to do, these will also be extensions, which means that these handles will stick out a little bit more similar to my Orion, which means that that, that momentum point is going to be further out from the pivots, which means it's going to carry a little bit more momentum and it's going to be like, it's going to hug your finger and chaplains a little bit more. I think the handle extensions are going to really, really rock with this thing and kind of return this thing to a more Prisma Pro-esque flipping experience while still maintaining all of the improvements that they've made in key areas like feel in the hand, like overall balance, fanning, stuff like that. So, in conclusion... The Tatori is still an 8 out of 10 battle song by far. Feels amazing, flips amazing, but the reason I've been so conflicted on it is because the Prisma Pro remains a 9 out of 10 in the flipping experience alone. If we're talking about overall experience, I think they're both an 8 out of 10. If we're talking only flipping, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, because the Prisma Pro just has that extra level of being an all-rounder that I really, really enjoy. Oh man, that was a long video and I'm going to end it before either my camera dies or runs out of storage. Thank you all so much for watching and listening to my incoherent rambling. I hope I made sense at any point within this video and I hope, um, yeah, I hope, ow, frick. Um, yeah, I hope I made any sense at any point within this video, and I hope I got you thinking about machine-wise, not machine-wise, I hope I got you thinking about Balasong balances and all of that, but really, machine-wise, amazing job on the new stuff. It really is just going to be a preference thing for me. I'm going to be like those people who like the Marin more than the current stuff, just because... And, you know, maybe you would be right to say, hey, the machine-wise Prisma Pro, you only like it better because you flipped it for a year longer than the Sasori. Might be true. Who knows? Um, full disclosure, I paid full price for this, so I don't have to give you any disclosure to that. Bought it at Blade Show, so cool. Thank you to Machine Wise. You guys were amazing to talk to. It was amazing that you guys proved me wrong, even after I doubted you guys so, so much. And I think that's going to do it for this absolutely mind-bending video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.